Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Soaring Together. Today we're at our son's house and we wanted to give you a tour of their travel van. They have a small minivan and I'll let him tell you more about it in just a few minutes. But we're gonna take a tour of it right after the intro. Yeah, I've done a lot of research and stuff when we thought about doing this on what we would need and what I thought we would need and what we thought we needed that we didn't use, so. So here we are with our son, Joseph. And Joseph, tell me a little bit about your little travel van. Well, we have a 2013 Ford Transit Connect uh, camper van. We're in the process of packing right now, so it's kind of a mess, but I'll uh, send mom some pictures of when we get it all set up at the campground that we're going to in Georgia. We're going to the North Georgia mountains. Her name is Sylvia because um, on our honeymoon cruise that we went on, um, the tour guide that we had, her name was Sylvia, and we had a really good time. It was a carnival cruise, um, and that's just something we wanted. She was forget. your tour guide on land when you took a yeah, yeah. It was a in, in uh, Cozumel is where it was at. So yeah. I've, so you thought since it's silver, you'll just call yeah, her silver, Sylvia. and yeah. We call it silver. I keep a lot of tools and stuff in case we break down. I've got jumper cables, uh, an air hose for my air compressor, some cordage for if we have to hang our trash. Because some places you have to hang your trash for the bears. Yeah. Um, fire extinguisher. Get a fire extinguisher. And then I don't think this is fully loaded yet, but um, this is all of our kitchen stuff. All of your supplies. So that goes way back under the bed. Yeah, yeah. Um, we use a Coleman camp stove or we'll cook on the campfire. We got pots and plates and coffee cups. All of our gas for cooking. Because some places, we haven't been anywhere yet, but some places you can't have a campfire. <laughs> Y'all probably been to places you can't have a campfire, yeah. right? Um, so this is all your all your supplies. You got your chairs, and this box goes upside down later to, yeah. for the this makes bed. The, this makes the bed completely. It's a full size bed. It's a trifold um, foam mattress, and when it lays out, it's actually a full size bed. So we take this box. The guy that built this van, actually, this is a pretty good system. I thought about changing it at first, um, but it works really well. And this box upside down when it's up on the top platform, uh, like we store stuff in it too, this works out pretty good. It's just, um, I don't know if you got close to that. It's just dowel pegs and there's holes in this plywood. And then so they just pop in. And then mom might have to assist me for just a second. So I don't drop it, just grab the, like grab right here. Ready? Yep. So then we have a full bed platform. And then you still have access to your refrigerator under here. Right, 
but we can't open the drawer all the way with the bed out. But all you would have to do is fold up your mattress and raise this up. Right. But I mean, sometimes when we're places and we're not going very far, we'll leave the bed out just to keep from tearing down, setting back up. I mean, I can still drive. I'm a little bit closer to the steering wheel. But um, if like this trip, we went a little over an hour away. So the one day we did actually tear the bed down. Because when the bed's down, your seat has to, the back of your seat has right. to be more I can move straight. It. I can move it back a little bit from where it's at. But So then we take the mattress and this is actually, it doesn't really look like it, but it is a full size mattress. Um, me and the wife actually sleep pretty good in here. It's a whole lot better than sleeping on the ground. And uh, of course we put our bed linens on, but yeah, it's a, it's a full size trifold mattress. I think the foam is a four inch foam mattress. Uh, this is just a really good system. We didn't, he didn't have a foam mattress in here. He said they were using a, a blow up mattress, but the guy you bought it from. Yeah. Um, blow up mattresses are just so aggravating. Even expensive ones, they deflate and all, and uh, this is just more. But this being consistent. a trifold, it folds up out of your way I and mean, you, right. you can still store right. things when you're traveling. We got we got this off of Amazon. Um, I don't, well, there's a lot of them. You don't have to know this brand. But yeah, this is a Dometic Fred Freezer. It's already full. Um, but it's 36 degrees and it's completely full and it'll run all night long um, without having to start the van because the house battery, the house battery actually charges off of the van, um, but it has a disconnect to where it won't drain the van battery. It'll only drain that and then it'll shut off, but that's the house battery and this is my air compressor that I take with us. Uh, I don't know if you can pick that up on the audio, but the refrigerator is running right now. So oh, okay. the condenser and everything for the refrigerator is under here. Um, I got some more tools under there. It has a doubled in touch screen, touch screen, doubled in touch screen radio. Um, that has a backup camera. Um, it has Android audio and Apple Music or Apple CarPlay or whatever. So there is all kinds of stuff in this little area right here. Um, like for cutting wood, I have a machete. Um, this is to get on the roof. Um, this piece of gear, actually it's kind of good. Um, let's see if I can show you one-handed. Um, oh, it makes you a step to step up on the roof. Yeah. it. Uh, it goes right there, and then you just step up onto the roof. Um, cool. It was cheap off of Amazon. Um, I wish I had links for some of the stuff. Um, so there's just stuff all in here. Our, all of our gear for our hammocks are um, way back in there. You can see back but in there. You can just pull all that stuff out. But Is that a water jug? Yeah, it's a... six gallon water jug um which is plenty for all we're doing that's plenty for so you have a and, small pot that you can wash your dishes up with and yeah we actually have a collapsible sink yeah we could do like an entire video on just so that's stuff the that we bought um that really works for us yeah we just set this on a picnic table or mm -hmm. we have a table as well um, it's actually behind the bed over here. Like I said, we have stuff everywhere, but there's been several things that we've bought that we thought we would need that we just haven't used. So usually like every trip, there'll be something that we're like, you know, we didn't use that for two camping trips and we don't really think we're going to need it. So, and when you're in here sleeping at night, you have some, uh, window coverings. Yeah, so like, uh, let me just do this one. 
because in this window. So these just go right in here and we have magnets that hold them and they just fit perfect in the window. We made these out of uh, Reflectix. It's the stuff that you can get at... Glued, spray glued some fabric on there. Yeah. It's just like a window cover for your car. Right. And we just right. cut them to fit the window. He had a TV in here. It was just sort of awkward. So we actually took that out and this is just more storage with a little basket. I'll put like my phone charger, um, my water bottle, stuff like that. I usually sleep on this side of the bed. And then we have more basket storage up here. And then you can see that you're setting up, so. Right, that was, that is one of my best things that I like about the way he built it out. Um, even with this mattress, we can sit up. I mean, me and the wife are both short. I mean, we're only five, six, with our shoes on. <laughs> but yeah, if we couldn't sit up, it would be a lot more miserable. I mean, a lot of people that build these out will build the platform up a lot higher to have more storage underneath. But when you do that, you can't sit up in the bed. You know, we can get in here if it's raining and sit up comfortably. I mean, I'm sitting up completely. Um, and then we'll take, uh, sorry, we'll take her laptop uh, and we'll prop it up right here. Um, I don't have it out here, I'll show you. But we'll take our laptop and prop it up. We take a Bluetooth speaker and put it on the back door and we watch movies at night. Um, in this small area in the dark, her laptop's plenty big enough, just like a TV, you know. But I haven't had to do a lot to it. I've done a lot of actual, more maintenance to the van than uh, really any of the build. I did insulate the roof more and I actually just put uh, cover on the max air fan you might be able to see it better from the other side yeah um that cover now we can run our fan in the rain and you also added this awning to the side yeah so this is a uh, a ford transit van yeah these are really popular in europe um and then they came to the u.s but it's basically a you can see that max air fan from better better from down here yeah it's basically a ford focus with a different body it's just a four cylinder front wheel drive it drives like a little car but the roof is so high like in the wind it, it's kind of jerky it's weird but mm. well all uh minivans that are raised roof do give you that yeah little you bit of a, a little wind bit of wind sway we had a rooftop box on it like a storage box but i actually just took that off because uh, we actually have plenty of storage room and so when you're storage. at a campsite you always try to find just a good level site because there's no leveling to this van obviously right and we have uh, i don't think i showed you that the other day it was put away We have these, it's a small pack. I could get another pack if I wanted to. Um, but so far, I mean, the van's not very long. So it's not like a longer RV or even a bigger van to where, you know, the longer you are, the less unlevel you're gonna be. I mean, really there's tents bigger than this van. And if it's a level area, you know, we're gonna be fine, but but yeah, like this so time- So you just run your tires up on one of those if you- right. This time I had one on the driver's side and three on the passenger side and it worked out great um, as far as leveling it. But we were lucky the first, I mean, this is the second time we've even used these. Um, we just got them not long ago. They're home. Kitsy missed you. Mom and you been taking pictures of you this week? How was this trip different? Uh, it was different because we went to town a lot. 
You went to town yeah, a lot. Yeah, we overpacked food because we ate lunch places. So, but, we had a lot of lunch. Well, that's food good lunch. to try out different restaurants. Mm -hmm. We had some really good uh, German food in Helen. Yeah, that big plate of food I see. I'm, I'm not a fan. I don't like it that much. Joe likes it, but it just doesn't have a lot so of So, you had taste. schnitzel? Yeah. I, got, I had a chicken I got, type schnitzel. I got Jaeger schnitzel. And he got the pill. Yeah. So, any uh, suggestions if somebody's looking to do this type of camping? So, this kind of camping is better than a tent. It's obviously upgraded from a tent. Um, we're not sleeping on the ground. If we're somewhere with bears or something like that, I mean, bears can get into a vehicle. I mean, you see that all the time, but it's just more of a peace of mind, um, you know, than being in a tent. I mean, not only bears, you know, any other predator creature. Um, but, and the, the thing that we went back and forth on with this van is there's pros and there's cons. The pros, I feel like outweigh the cons. Um, we can park on the side of the street. We can fit in a normal parking spot. We, now that we have the vent fan and everything, the vent cover and all, and we have stickers all over the back, it's obvious that we're camping. We're not like stealth camping in this van. A lot of people do that in the smaller vans. They'll just park anywhere and sleep, you know. Um, we're not really trying to be stealthy about it. But if that's something that you wanted to do, this is a great option. I mean, it's, you know, even with a regular vent fan, some people don't know what those are. Uh, so you but your camping, your camping is more in the spring and the fall when the weather is... Yeah, we chase the we chase the good weather. Uh, with the vent fan, we can cool off pretty good in here. I mean, it pulls. We put bug screens on the front windows because they're the only windows that open, and we crack those uh, down to the rain guards just in case it rains at night. Um, and most of the campgrounds you go to are pretty wooded, so you have lots of trees for shade. And right. Uh, we usually have shade. We. Generally, I always try to look at videos of the campground or pictures or at least pictures of the site, um, which you'll see, I'm gonna put a clip in of our campsite this time. Uh, we hang out a lot in our hammocks during the day on nice days. Um, Cause that was one of the first things we realized one of the first times we went camping was we didn't really have very good chairs. And I was like, well, you know, we can sit in the van, but to me, even when I tent camped before, um, comfort just hanging out at camp is like really important to me um, so the hammocks just I love hammocks um, I, we overnight camp uh, me and David my brother mom's other son oldest son um, we did a camping trip in hammocks and I've just loved them ever since uh, so yeah the hammocks are important so generally we're always gonna have trees if we can because we use those a lot um, and we upgraded our camping chairs as well too so that uh like i said that makes a big difference because you do your camping in campgrounds not specifically rv parks and resorts you go right into the... that's a that's another plus or pro um we've been to a lot of campgrounds where um even if you had like a 30-foot camper it'd be a struggle to get into um we usually don't well I don't say usually don't, we have never not camped in a campground. Um, we've been, uh, you can, we'll do a link to our Instagram because it would take me a few minutes to remember everywhere we've been, but we've been, uh, well, Hot Springs was the furthest. That was about eight hours away, but we've been in this area of the country. Well, no, um, Shenandoah was actually 11 hours away. Um, Tennessee, Kentucky, Georgia. Yeah, we've been, this general area, um, like I said, um, you can see all the photos on our Instagram everywhere we've been. Um, but yeah, that is one of the pros too, is um, just the size in general. I mean, we can go anywhere that you can park. I mean, you know, it's not a big vehicle. It's right. 
we can go where people tent camp or I mean we could even do Walmart parking lots or um, Cracker Barrel things like that a lot of people in these size vans do that if they're cross-country you know travel and they'll just stop you know anywhere in a parking lot rest area things like that um, you know obviously one there's several cons too we don't have a bathroom um, we don't have a shower you know things like that um, but we always we have camped at Garden of the Gods in southern Illinois. There was just vault toilets. Um, so we we camped there either a night or two nights. Um, you know, and we didn't have a shower. But the weather was nice and, you know, we have potable water. Um, so we ended up, you know, washing off. You know, we didn't take a full shower. But, um, yeah, we're not going to go more than two days ever without taking a shower. That's just us. You know, some people will. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. Any well, other... we thank you for showing us your minivan. Yeah, her name is Sylvia. I went over that before. Um, we have a lot of fun in her. I think uh, we're still a lot to see. You know, originally when we got this van, we were going to go out west in it and um, just see the whole country. But the more we camp, you know, and people do that in these vans, but um, I don't know if we'll end up doing that. We'll probably do more flying and and maybe just driving our personal car to to go all the way out that way it is a small van and these vans weren't meant to do this they're more of a city commuter um, with the added weight and everything um, it lacks a little bit in power um, and braking capability and things like that um, you know to make it across those really big mountain passes there's a if you look into these vans, that's one of the biggest things is people, which you have to know how to drive in the mountains. You have to use your you know, gear down, um, not just stay on the brakes and you know, just treat the vehicle differently in a big mountain path. Um, but that is one of the big things with these is the transmission issues. Um, luckily, knock on wood, we haven't ran into those. Uh, try to treat the old van right. Um, but yeah, that is a con is, you know, they're not really made to do this, but people have done it, and if you treat them right, they'll do it. But The gentleman that you purchased this from, they used it to go to music festivals. I yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Um, I actually didn't talk to him. Um, you and Dad and uh, Shelby. Shelby went and picked it up. I was uh, away at work. I work on the boat, so. Um, yeah, but they are two transit souls, so you can follow them on Instagram. Yeah, uh, we do, I don't know, we, kind of semi-travel we're not like mom and dad where we travel all the time um, but I'm off work every other month for 28 days at a time so we're usually doing something um, we camp usually three big trips a year and then cruise cruise and we go I mean, we've been a lot of places too. I have Joseph and Shelby's Instagram link below in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please add them to the comments below and they will be happy to answer. Once again, thanks for watching as Ricky and I are soaring together and living life in different places.